In this week's vlog, we leave Soverato and travel to Manuela's hometown. Manuela sees a dead hedgehog. A hedgehog run over on the road. And I eat a double burger panini. Now going to say goodbye to Sovereto. We're going to get the train off to Manuela's hometown now, and it's about a three-hour journey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So of course we have 20 minutes delay, and it was sort of a miracle yesterday that we had no delays at all. Everything ran on time. Dead on time, isn't it? Brilliant. Yeah, we had a good journey yesterday. Hopefully, I think it'll be good today. It's only today. 20 minutes is a bit of a bummer. Yeah. Is that seat number? I've woken up with colds this morning. Yeah. I think it was that train on the way down here. Frozen. The aircon was so cold, I feel ill now. Frozen. <laughs> yeah, now we're off to Cosenza this morning, which is the province of my little town. We're going to see the Open Museum, which is a museum on the outdoors. unusual McDonald's I've ever seen. Yeah. Cosenza is a very ancient town. It was once under the influence of a Greek civilization. In 204 BC it was conquered by the Romans and became an important communication center. Panino? No, that's a burger. That's a panino, Italian burger. Much better than McDonald's. Look at the bread. Today, the city centre has a population of around 70,000, while the urban area counts for 250,000 inhabitants. In the modern area of Cosenza lies the Open Air Museum. The museum hosts a wide range of modern art sculptures that stand in the streets for residents and tourists. The sculptures were donated to the city by the Italian-American entrepreneur and art collector Carlo Bellotti. 